Now, here is meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. It's going to be a fairly active weather week ahead. We've got a few chances of snow, some pretty good cold, and some wind as well. Let's take a look at the right now. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. It's quiet at the moment. Threat tracker for the overnight. Low chance of anything severe, although there could be some snowflakes later in the night. We'll show you that in a second. For Monday, low chance of severe weather on Tuesday. It goes up to that medium level. We are looking at the possibility for some small accumulations, which could coincide with the morning commute. Could make things a little bit slick in spots, but it will turn to all rain on Tuesday. Here's what's happening in Narragansett. We've got dry conditions at the moment. And in Providence, we're dry, pretty quiet. A little on the cold side, 34 degrees, wind from the west at about 7 miles an hour. Smithfield, 34, they have a calm wind. Temperatures in Taunton, New Bedford in the upper 20s, 38 degrees in westerly. Meanwhile, a little milder there. We've got some clouds in place right now. The clouds tend to thicken up as this weather system zips across the northeast during the overnight hours. And the end result will be some snow showers arriving, although I'm not expecting much in the way of accumulation at all. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. There are the clouds coming in overnight. Going to stop right here around 7 o'clock in the morning. Notice there's a few snow showers here and there. Nothing terribly widespread. By noontime, it's all all gone. We're looking at sunshine, quiet in the afternoon, quiet tomorrow evening, and then we'll see more snow arrive late Monday night and Tuesday. We'll get to that in a second. For tomorrow morning, about 30 degrees or so with a snow shower. Could be some, some icy spots still on area roadway, so keep the speeds down. Give yourself a little extra time. Could be a little slick in some spots tomorrow. 40 degrees in the afternoon with the uh, those early snow showers giving way to lots of sunshine. Let's talk about that system on Tuesday. Of course, quiet Monday evening. The clouds roll in Monday night into Tuesday morning. We'll start the day with a little bit of snow, especially inland areas, but notice what happens. We see the rain arrive throughout the course of the day. By noontime, rain everywhere. So while we'll get a little bit of snow, it'll likely get washed away. How much snow are we talking about? Not a tremendous amount, but enough that could be a little bit slick in spots Tuesday morning, inch or less uh, of snow turning to all rain in the areas in white. That includes the Providence metro area Tuesday morning down into inland portions of South County and northern Bristol County as well. And again, gets all washed off, uh, washed away by the rain. So Tuesday kind of breaks down like this. We will be seeing that mix in the morning turning over to rain, drying out late in the uh, afternoon and early evening. Now on Wednesday, look at the temperature behind that storm system. We're going to be seeing the wind start to whip around high temperatures in the 20s, wind chills in the teens on Wednesday. We lose the wind Thursday. We get the sun back. Still kind of cold though on uh, Friday. Upper 30s with sunshine. May actually be some snow showers Thursday night into early Friday morning. Saturday and Sunday right now look dry with temperatures warming by late in the weekend. So three chances of snow this week. A little bit tomorrow morning. Tuesday morning and then maybe a little bit more Thursday night into Friday morning. So busy week. Yeah, TJ, thank you. Still to come tonight, 